Hey guys, today we're going to do a No Tools Leopard Print tutorial. I know I've basically already done this exact tutorial, but whenever I am feeling a little uninspired or don't know what to do, Leopard Print is just kind of my go-to and one of my favorite, you know, don't have to think about it nail designs. So I'm taking my bobby pin dipped in purple polish and I am just doing some uneven blobs all around my nails. Now, if you are still practicing your, you know, designs and super small details, make these bigger and further apart. If you are getting a little bit better, you can make them smaller and closer together. Then going in with a toothpick dipped in black polish, I am doing three dots around the outsides of these little blobs. You do not want to totally enclose it in the black dots. You just want to kind of go around in three different spots. Now, for the longest time, I had a really hard time with leopard print and I just didn't know why it wasn't coming out right. I noticed that what I was doing was I tr was trying to just kind of curve on each side, almost like two C shapes, and it totally made it look really, really bad. You didn't get the leopard print effect. So once I started doing the three dots, that's when I noticed that my leopard prints were really coming out the way I wanted to, and I was really satisfied with them. So if you're having trouble with leopard print and you're just not achieving the look you want, definitely try that. Something else that's super important anytime you're dotting is to make sure that you're putting a fresh blob of nail polish on a little piece of paper. That way you don't get little strings. You'll see that I ended up getting some strings just because sometimes you just can't see. You know, remember we're under a 100 millimeter macro lens here. Most people are not looking at your nails this close up. And if they are, they're way too close to you. <laughs> Waited several minutes for everything to dry and then top coat. I am using HK Girl by Glisten and Glow. If you recreate this look or any of my looks, please tag Nailstorming Inspired on Instagram so I can see.